Hello Aquarius, this is going to be your November reading from Star of the Universe Tarot. Welcome back you guys. We are using the Tarot Mucha Mercury Retrograde. We are using the Tarot Mucha for the November readings. Um, just kind of like some background info on this specific deck. This was the first... Um, first tarot deck that I was given okay um yeah it's the first deck that was gifted to me by um quick shout out to my friend Bree um and her son Hayden because Scorpio season <laughs> um and happy birthday to all of the Scorpios out there um but yeah she's the one who gave it to me and the very first time I used it it was just um it was just very, um, the energy was just really beautiful. It was a, a very beautiful experience, and it really inspired me um, to really start putting all of my energy and my focus into making the channel. Uh, that being said, you know, that's why um, with November being coincided with Thanksgiving and, um, and, you know, tradition and being grateful... This is definitely something that I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for her friendship. I'm grateful for, for you know, these cards, these, you know, the, the beautiful opportunity and inspiration to really get this um, channel up and going. Um, uh, and then for the mid-month check-in, we're going to be using the same deck. And then I'm going to be actually doing the Celtic Cross um, spread which is, uh, as far as tradition goes, one of the most traditional spreads for tarot. <laughs> so, I'm going to make sure that... Oh, make sure to tune in for that. I'm sorry. Um, also, I'm not, I'm not done. Um, I have... Oh, okay. I'm giving away two year-ahead personal readings for 2021. For my hun for my hundred subscriber and the hundred subscriber of of the um, what's the word podcast, I'm doing a collab with them where they're going to be um, interviewing me on um, Halloween. So the link and the descript um, the link and how to um, how to win is going to be in the description box below. Okay. Um, anything else oh yeah make sure to subscribe guys because um even if you're not the 100 subscriber you'll still be entered to win um a possible personal reading and if you tune in to the podcast we're actually going to be giving away a free tarot deck um tarot or oracle um i have not gotten it yet i'm not gonna lie so it's gonna it's to be announced that day um Yeah, I think that's it. So let me go ahead and explain what we're doing here. Um, we are, this is going to be the energies coming out of October into the first week of November. This is the first week of November going into mid-November. And then this is mid-November going um, to the end of November. Um, these cards over here from the Mermaid Oracle are going to explain to us what is what is driving you throughout these times of the month what it is that um that spirit is you know helping you so that you can continue um to push forward throughout november i'm going to be clarifying with um with hold on give me a second i'm so sorry my ocd Okay, um, I'm going to be clarifying with the Fairy Tarot. It is a brand new deck, you guys. I haven't even had it a week. Um, I, I have um, obviously looked at it because I've been using it. But um, it, it gives me seasons instead of like um, swords and stuff. And uh, summer and spring is cups and, and wands. And if I do make a mistake... 
um, please um, forgive me now. <laughs> like I'm saying sorry as of now. Um, I will get my shit together with it. Just give you know, give me at least the rest of the week because this is the um, this is the deck that I'm actually gonna start using, probably most likely permanently for the twin flame readings. Um, uh, also, they're since they're brand new, they're really sticky still. So I'm not gonna take pop outs from that deck because um, I don't want to get confused that there's more than one card and then I clarify the message wrong. Um, I'm gonna after we're done clarifying, I'll throw a possible overall outcome with um, the tarot mucha again, and then I'll go ahead and grab you a dragon oracle, okay, to sum up the reading. So jumping in, we have the page of cups. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This is someone who wants to um, come towards you with love. Um, it could be messages. It could be face-to-face um, -face meetings. It could possibly talk about apologies. But it's something that you definitely wasn't expecting. Because you see how this, um, this fish is jumping out of the cup? It's definitely a surprise. Okay. Yeah, see, um, after uh, following the page of cups, we have the moon. More uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The, uh, you don't know, you do not see this coming. You don't see this coming at all. You don't see this coming for a long shot. It's very um, possible that it's not being spoken of at all. At all. L like... It's almost like she's oblivious, you know, to what's going on. Like, she's just like, gasp. Like, you, don't, you really don't see this coming. Oh, shit. Okay. Fall, uh, we have more water energy here, guys. Um, Aquarius. Aquarius. <laughs> you messing with a water sign? <laughs> you might have water in your, your chart. But um, this is Cancer. Um... The Three of Cups talks about celebration, but it also talks about um, third-party situations. And next to the moon, that could be the secret. You could be the secret, um, Aquarius. Not knowing that you are in a third-party situation. I mean, it is a general reading, so, you know... You can flip the rolls if you want, but this definitely looks like someone that came towards you in love, but could have possibly, yeah, see? After the Three of Cups, you have the Five of Swords. This is deception. There, This person may have put you in a third party, and you may to be totally fucking oblivious to it. Okay, going into mid-month, we have the sun. This is pure joy, happiness, the happiest deck, I mean, the happiest card in the deck. Uh, this is Leo energy. Um, clarity in every, in every which way of form. It's also um, a card of abundance. Okay, following the sun, we have the tower, Scorpionic, Scorpionic Aries energy. This is, um, this is divine intervention. This is coming in and breaking down um, foundations. This is hitting um, the crown chakra. Um, it could, you could be, this could be a very, um, um, what's that word I want to use? Like, a very shocking aha moment, like an epiphany that just blew your mind, and you're just like, oh, holy shit, and now I see, now I see what's going on, um, yeah, that's what I'm getting, that's what I'm getting from this card, especially next to the sun, oh shit, this is what's really going on, okay, following this tower moment, we have the Wheel of Fortune, so after this epiphany, after this aha moment, after finally seeing clearly, you decide to take action. You're gonna move. You're gonna move towards something that is more, um, more fulfilling for you. 
something that's um, definitely going to make this <laughs> this wheel turn in your direction. Oh, oh yeah, I see. Look at my son's ice cream. <laughs> yes. Okay, baby. I love ice cream. And it honestly... Hold on. And it definitely brought you heartache. I don't think that you wanted to walk away from this situation. This is not something that... Look at her. She's she's not happy. I mean, most... Um, especially with, with the Three of Swords, you know, there's usually a lot of um, heartache and pain. And um, the, the, inf the infliction of the pain is usually what you feel holding this card. To me, the energy that I'm feeling, especially like if you see her face, she's fucking pissed. She's angry. She's disappointed. Like, yeah, it's heartbreaking, but it's like, I'm not going to cry over you. Like, there's no tears left to, um, to give to this situation. the end of the month we have judgment sagittarian energy this is making a final decision either to pursue forward in a brand new um in a brand new direction or trying to rekindle or reconcile this situation really try to save it but this is this is the ultimate decision that needs to be made especially towards the end of november okay Okay, following judgment, we have temperance, Sag more Sag Sagittarian energy. Um, you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. You could have um, Sagittarius in your chart. Um, you could embody Sagittarian energy. But this is definitely divine timing. It, there, this tower moment was meant to happen in order for you to... Um, to use the knowledge that you illuminated, right? The sun, the clarity that you got in order to, to um, I want to say like push forward on your own. Like use this, use this information to, to propel yourself forward, to really make, the, instead of wait for that wheel to turn, you made the wheel turn. It was already going to turn. It was, you know, like trying and trying. And you, you pushed that shit. You went and you pushed it. You're like, nope, I'm not going to be stuck here. My final decision is to take this time, this divine intervention, and heal myself and make the decision to love me first. Love me first and foremost. We have a lot of major arcana here, Aquarius. Yeah. And as soon as you healed yourself, here you come. Virgo, Gemini, Energy, Aries, this is the magician, the manifester. You knew you had it in you all along. This is something that... that this is something you suppressed within yourself. You knew that this was in you. You couldn't let it out because you kept yourself from le letting this part of you out. It's almost like you were embarrassed. It's like, um, I'm embarrassed of being a witch. <laughs> that's the that's the sentence they gave me. Don't be, don't be embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. Our, our, for, for, for those of you who see me, me, Debbie, personally, I don't mind being, I, I don't mind calling myself a bruja. I don't mind calling myself a witch. I don't care. See, me, my thing is, too, that, like, I'll be like, well, Halloween's around the corner, and that's my Christmas, you know? That, like, the, the moment that you could um, really own and love the things that you know that people are going to twist their face about or have something to say about, it, it really um, brings out that, manif that manifester in you. It makes you love yourself to a point where nothing that anyone can tell you is going to hurt you. And it really brings you into this peace and this power, knowing that you have all the tools that you need to push forward. Okay. Beautiful. Ending the, the, um, ending the month, we have the Hierophant. This is 
um, moving up, uh, um, advancement in spirituality, being the teacher and the student. This is also higher levels of commitment. Um, it could be commitment to a person. It could be commitment to yourself. It could be commitment to spirituality. But this is definitely, um, it's a five. It's contrast. It's change. Taurian energy. You could be dealing with the Taurus. Um, but this is, this is really, um, a, this is a positive outcome for you, Aquarius. Um, you, just because you have so many majors, I'm going to go ahead and read the signs, okay? We have, um, we have the moon, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, the sun, Leo, the tower, Scorpio, um, the will of fortune, Leo, judgment and temperance, Sag, um, Air, um, Aries, Virgo, Gemini for the magician, and the Hierophant is Taurus energy. Okay, let's see what's driving you throughout throughout um, the end of October coming into November is energy field adjustment or a cleansing and health. So you're definitely clearing your energy. You're trying to um, you're trying to find out where these deceptive energies are hiding where these um, secrets are coming from, and whether or not, I think you're in an uh, investigation period here, whether this third party does indeed exist. <laughs> I'm hearing Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> like, you're, you're um, investigating. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, hold on, give me a second. Okay, so driving you... Through mid-November, we have experiments, manipulation of nature, forcing change, cruelty, and the pursuit of knowledge and arrogance. Telling you, you are on a fucking mission. You, you're, you're, um, like <laughs> Sherlock Holmes. They're saying Sherlock Holmes again. You're Sherlock holmes -ing it. You're leaving no stone uncovered. You're, you want to know the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. Amen. <laughs> okay and then at the end of november we have time and tide oceanic spells and, and rituals okay to me just straight up just grabbing the card you found what you were looking for her face look at it it's illuminated. She knows. There's wisdom here. But she's not happy. She's not happy with what she found out. And this is going to put you in... Um, it's going it, it, it's gonna to put you in isolation. It's going to make you take time for yourself. Where you really need to figure out what you're doing with you. Because it could have been that you wasted so much time trying to figure out what was going on instead of trusting your intuition when it was told when um, you were being told the whole time this is what's happening so you're taking time now at the end of November to really contemplate everything that went on see kind of you know what I'm getting like those 3 a.m. thoughts about oh that's where they were at when they said oh da 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 or this is what they were doing when they were home late that one time or this is where they were you know when they said this and this oh this is what they actually meant like people that um tell you so, like I, like someone has been trying to be careful about the words that they use around you because they know that you can um, read between the lines. You get me? There's a, there's a gift in that, being able to read between the lines. And the thing is that if you know that you have this gift, then don't 
I think before we even clarify, don't investigate it. I think you should just ask. Ask straight up. Follow your intuition and just ask. Ask the question. Is there somebody else? Should I be worried? Do you need help? <laughs> you know, like, offer your assistance. Don't offer your, um, don't, um, don't hide that you're trying to figure out this information. If this person, you know, it, and especially uh, with the Hierophant at the end, if you're trying to find, um, this level of, um, trust in order to uh, move forward into a higher level of commitment because we did end with the five of uh, I mean the five of major arcana I'm so dumb the hierophant that that being said there is a higher level of commitment being uh, pursued looked for so if that's what you're looking for then then you need to you need to be open and honest hold on let me read these cards in a different way before okay because right here, <laughs> someone, either you or your person, Aquarius, came in with this surprise offer, right? With um, happiness you know, abundance, the whole nine yards. This is what they were offering. And someone had to made a decision possibly to just completely walk away from it. But when this happened, someone wasn't being completely honest about why they were walking away. And it created this tower moment, either for you or your person, that that was divinely timed. And what ended up happening was that this there was a third party. You found out, and when this third, when when there was, you know. I was going to say clarification, when there is maybe not absolute proof, but definitely like your intuition knew that there is, there is deception here, that someone wasn't being honest. And that's definitely when you decided that this is, the will is only going to turn if I make it turn. And I don't want to be heartbroken anymore. I want to be happy. Fuck that third party. Fork, uh, fork the deception. <laughs> I'm so dead. Some of you guys probably say that. That's so hilarious. Yeah, like, fuck that third party situation. Fuck these, you know, deceptive people around you. It's time to take back your power. Turn, turn the wheel in your direction because you are the manifester. And you deserve a higher level of commitment. And spirit agrees. Spirit agrees. Okay, let's go ahead and clarify now. Okay. Can you tell me about the moon and the page of cups, spirit? For Aquarius. Okay, the page of cups is clarified by the release. Let go of the past and ending that makes way for new opportunities. It's time to move on. It, it could very well be that this love offer or this apology was a red flag within itself for you. And you, you, um, you withdrew almost immediately. Yeah, clarifying the um, the moon. You have the nine of pentacles. Reward yourself for your hard work, being happily and successfully self employed, self employed, and cherishing your time alone. Yeah, you pulled away from it, and you're like, I'm gonna do me. 
pre empress energy, Nine of Pentacles, Virgo, um, Taurus, Capricorn. Tell me about this Three of Cups and the Five of Swords, please. Okay, clarifying the Three of Cups, we have the Five of Winter. This is the Five of Swords. Walk away from dishonest associations. Realizing that what you thought you wanted isn't the best choice for your happiness and something that's not worth the effort. She can't make this stuff up, guys. All right, clarifying the Five of Swords, we have the Four of Autumn. This is the Four of Pentacles. This is a Tor uh, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Manage your resources wisely. Achieve a balance in how you spend and save money. And help those that are less fortunate. You started um, focusing on you. You started holding your emotions closer to yourself and started... Um, started focusing on on yourself and those who help you so you started um giving back giving back even though you don't have much you gave what you could when you could and generously okay tell me about the sun and the tower spirit Okay, clarifying the sun, we have the Queen of Spring. This is the Queen of Wands. Brilliant, loyal, talented, and friendly. Believe in yourself. Wonderful people want to help you. Maintain a balance between work and home life. I'm telling you, this is all your focus on. Your focus, on, your focus was on your happiness. I want to be happy. I want to be happy. I want to be happy. I want to be single. I want to be happy. I want to be away from deceptive energy. I want to be away from these people that that um, don't serve me well. And I just want to focus on me and the people I love and the people I know love me. All right. Clarifying the, the tower, we have the five of wands, um, the five of spring. Opposing goals arising from different uh, differing opinions. Feeling at odds with yourself or others, overly ambitious people. You didn't want to fight or compete. You didn't want to be put in competition. This is too much strife. It was too much. You know your worth. You walked away. Tell me about the Will of Fortune and the Three of Swords. Okay, clarifying the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Eight of Winter. You have what it takes, if only you believe in yourself. Thinking that you're powerless when you're not, a lack of self-confidence that keeps you from getting what you want. And that's when you, you know, that's when you realized you're holding yourself back. And that's when you, you went to that squeaking fucking wheel and said, push, bitch, push. We're going to get, we're getting up out of here. If I have to make my own electricity, if I have to <laughs> spin the wheel myself. Clarifying the Three of Swords, we have the Two of Summer. There's a Two of Cups. Falling in love or making a serious commitment to someone. Forgiveness and the resolution of a problem. Don't give up. Your relationship can be healed. Yeah, you needed to... It's very possible that you needed to walk away from this person for... Um, Self-love, maybe, like, maybe there was a codependency issue here. Tell me about the judgment, please. We have the Queen of Winter. Let go of people or things that no longer serve you. Now is the time to focus on your career, unmarried or divorced individuals. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Because to me, with the eight, yeah. Hold on, let me just keep going. Why is temperance here? The six of winter. Positive changes are on their way. A welcome relief from troubled times, traveling, or relocating. Oh, okay. Yep, you gotta sweet, sweet, sweet. See, he's always keeping things clean around the school. He's not a bad dude. 
the moment you came into your power and you walked away, like, you knew. It's so cute. Like, it's, it's kind of sad. It's kind of sad. <laughs> because, look, the Queen of Wands, her energy is charismatic and outgoing and beautiful, very passionate, right? And under the Queen of Wands, we have the Queen of Winter. What happened was, like, if you see this, this Queen of Wands and you focus on, focus on her, and especially with the story we've been telling, what happened? We found out something we didn't want to know. We decided that our self-worth and self-respect was more, um, was, it was better to keep that than to try to go on into this um, trifling relationship, right? And when you finally did, after this little eight of winter period, it, you, you kind of got cold. You got cold. And it's so funny, all I'm hearing is like, you're as cold as ice. Willing to sacrifice our love. Ooh, I'm so dead. You do, it's because this is a soulmate connection you have here. Aquarius, it is a soulmate connection. The Two of Cups is a soulmate um, card. It's just... I understand, Aquarius, if you were turned this way. Because... You know, it, it's very obvious that you did have this passionate, loving energy towards this person. You wanted to take care of them. You wanted to love them. And they put you in, in this fucked up ass position. And it's time for you to make... Um, it was time for you to, to harden yourself, to walk away. And even though um, you walked away from it, I think it's, it's possible that it could still be healed. Because that's what... That's what's being highlighted to me in this card. I don't think that you met someone new. I think you're going back for your person. You're you're getting up and you're fighting for your person. Yeah. And the another thing that they're um, highlighting for me is traveling and relocating. It could be that either you or your person comes with this offer like forget whatever happened in the past I love you you love me let's be together let's move away from the past let's move away from everything and start somewhere new clarifying the, the magician we have the tennis spring ask for help from others. All work and no play. Being weighted down by too many responsibilities. It's too, um, it's too much. It's too much for you, what this person is asking of you. They, like, it's, um, drop everything and leave with me. Here, now. And don't think about it. And then it's like, they see you thinking about it. It's like, no, 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 you're thinking about it. Stop. <laughs> that was delicious. Okay. Tell me about the Hierophant. The Hermit. Find or be a mentor. Take a break from society, a commitment to your spiritual growth. You're taking time to think about it. <laughs> oh, Aquarius, Aquarius. It's going to... Uh, but okay, well, the end of the nem the end of November with time and tide here and and the hermit, you're definitely n you're not making a decision on this. Like yes, you you've made a decision, but to work on to work on yourself, I don't think that you gave this person a yes or a no. You just like, I you it's possible you could have almost ghosted this person, just like um gone gone. Can I get? A possible outcome, please, for my Aquariuses. Oh, there you are, Aquarius. The star. Alrighty. Okay. We have the star. The Knight of Cups. And the hangman that came upside down. 
so you you you're healing because you you want to shift your perspective about this about this um this love offer here from from this knight of cups over here you could be dealing with a scorpio uh pisces uh, uh cancer but you have strong pisces you have and um strong aquarius you could be dealing with another aquarius but um you're trying you're trying so hard to shift your perspective on this soulmate and um i think you need to you need to listen to your heart i think that you when this person says don't think about it and you start to think about it the reason why this person gets nervous is because they think that because you're in this queen of 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 um swords energy that the logical decision is to walk away from this completely and the truth is maybe it is <laughs> maybe it is but there is something emotional here, so an emotional pull, a connection, a bind. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But there is something here that the, this person, if you leave it like this, in this, um, in this place where you, where you don't make a decision, you're going to, um, this person is going to come back. This person is going to keep coming back with this offer over and over and over again until you tell them yes or no to go to hell. <laughs> but as long as you keep um, trying to, to delay the decision, it, it's, it's, they're just going to keep coming back. They're going to keep coming back until they win you all over again because I feel like it's a I feel like it's a, um, I feel like it's an ex and I don't think that this person is giving up either we have the golden Atlantean dragon oh I love this dragon there he's like one of my favorites okay We have, helps you remember the wisdom of Golden Atlantis. Awaken. Bring back your knowledge, gifts, and talents. Reclaim your mastery. The guidance message is this card invites you to activate your own personal fifth dimensional blueprint. For it contains the light of the incredible era of Golden Atlantis. The Golden Atlantean dragon who has come to you now worked directly with all of the great masters of Atlantis during the Halcyon days and remembers exactly who you truly are. Prepare to reclaim your mastery. You are ready to dissolve the final veils of amnesia and your dragons will assist you to do so. Ask it to breathe its golden fire into your third eye so that the final clearance and awakening can take place. Your dragon will then remain with you and shine light into you as you prepare to stand in your power as the Atlantean master. Mm. The giver of life, Aquarius. That's you, the bringer of water, the bringer of Atlantis. I'm an Atlantean myself, so I, you know, I feel it on a personal level. All right, you guys, um, I hope this helped. Don't forget, if you guys want to win the year ahead reading, um, go ahead and check the description box below for all the details. And I will see you guys for the November check-in. Bye.